Welcome back again in speaking session. In today's video, we will talk about four basic skills that is required for any kind of communication, particularly business communication and English communication. It's need a lot when you're trying to conversate with someone. It's a basic need of human being. If you have no idea about four basic skills, then it is very hard to talk with anybody. So let's discuss what are the four basic skills that is needed for your communication. So they have interlink each other. First one is listening. Second one is speaking. Third one is reading and fourth one is writing. So these are the four basic skills that is required for any kind of conversation as well as communication. So you know that four are very important for your communication, for your developing your ideas, thoughts. But today we will talk about what is listening. In today's lecture, we will talk about what is listening. Listening is very important. When you talk about all other uh, communication skills, listening is one of them. Listening is very important because major portion of your life, major portion of your communication happen in listening. But some people formulated that listening is a, a complete process. Some people formulated that listening is a very easy task and it is uh, related to hearing but there are two concepts you should keep in mind one is hearing second one is listening listening means when you will attentively listen anything then it is your listening and hearing related to all the ideas you are capturing on daily basis on your daily conversation on your spending then it is your hearing Hearing related to your ears, but listening related to your mind. Hearing is a, a not authentic way of growing yourself, but listening is a dynamic process. If you will know about communication skill, then you should keep in mind listening is very important. There is a difference between hearing and listening. And you should keep in mind there is a uh, ambiguity created if you will just hear and you don't listen it. So let's discuss about it. Other points that formulated that listening and hearing is a different point of view. Listening and hearing is different from each other. Listening is varies from one person to another person. Like if you will listen any message then all the peoples they are listening they have no same content if you will listen to anybody then your perception your ideas your mind will thought differently from us. there is a difference between you are listening some people listen carefully and they capture all the ideas that are needed for their communication some people just hear it and uh, you should keep in mind all the time hearing just you have to hear through your ears but when you talk about listening then it is a dynamic process and you should keep in mind you have to listen through mind if you will listen through mind definitely it can give you a solid vocabulary it can give you a solidatory vocabulary in your communication so you should differentiate between hearing and listening but all the peoples they have a different phenomena they have a different opinion they have a different perception about hearing and listening so let's discuss what are the points how does listening take place first one is receiving the message second one is interpreting the message third one is evaluating the message fourth one is responding the message last one is acting upon the message so let's discuss in detail what are the points what are the role of these points in your listening first point you should keep in mind uh, that is needed for your communication receiving the message 
receiving the message start from your listening like your eardrums listen and after this vibrate happen in your mind when vibration happen your message go to your mind and your mind think on it what is the message exactly will receive from anybody so listening is a complete process first the process is start from receive the message receiver can be a different shape you can receive any kind of message from your audience and it come through your eardrum after this vibration this message goes to your mind your mind think on it and lastly you are think on it what is the message and it is a very important thing you should keep in mind all the time when you are in worried in angry mood then you show your tiredness if you show you are tired then listening affects on your communication like if you are showing irrelevancy if you are showing laziness during your listening then you are not attentively in your listening skill so if you want to listen well then you should keep in mind you should receive exact message from your audience and second stage is very important interpreting the message interpreting the message means when you are brain receive a message and waves occurs in your mind then here is the interpreting interpreting means there will be hustle and buzzle in your mind actually your mind thinking on it your mind evaluating on it what the message he or she receive from your audience from your receiver so it's a another important process it's a very essential process for your listening if you listen well after this you can interpret what i have to give a proper feedback if you will listen attentively if you will listen actively then definitely you can give a proper feedback and third one is evaluating the message evaluating the message means when you evaluation of your message it's a third step it's a third stage of your listening like what you have heard what kind of message you receive and what your evaluation about this message like uh, if you receive positively any kind of message from anybody then definitely you think about it according to your evaluation if you receive negative message definitely you consider it according to your mind and your mind will think on it and at the end you will think either it is positive or negative and what are the opinion i have to given to my audience the fourth one is responding the message responding the message means when you come across all the stages and the fourth one is you try to respond in easy wording you want to give a proper feedback to your audience or any body they are trying to give a message so it's a very important process you should aware about this what are the message i am listening and what i have to respond like if you are sitting in a class your teacher is asking something from you then if you listen attentively definitely you can give a proper response you can give a proper reply to your concerned teacher so it's a very important point you should keep in mind all the time if you will ignore it your teacher message your teacher talking conversation then definitely it create hurdle in the way of your communication and last one is acting upon the message acting upon the message means when you will act on concern message like if you listen anything from anybody and then you evaluate you completed all the other stages like you receive a message after this you interpret it you evaluate it you respond it and when you give a respond before giving respond you think what i have to act upon it like if speaker if your teacher giving a some kind of advice 
then if you think that it is very appropriate for me i will act upon on the advice that is given from my concerned teacher or any other debater it's uh, it can formulate it to my future life then you have to act upon it so this is the process you should keep in mind these are the five stages you keep in mind if you act upon if you adopt these process these stages in your life then definitely you can become a successful speaker you can convey your message you can exchange your information to others so it's a very easy task it's a very dynamic process if you practice on it if you will do on daily basis and these stages these steps are very essential for your business communication and for your daily conversation